Well, hello everyone, and welcome to subs. Well, this isn't subsistence land. This is a subsistence alpha fifty eight update land uh, released on December eighteenth, twenty twenty one, which was yesterday as of recording this. Now, uh, this is a brand new update with some. It's got some pretty cool stuff in it. I have to. Agree. I did not see this coming. Uh, I will admit that there was rumors and there were rumors and there was discussion, but I didn't. I try not to pay too much attention to it because you never really know what Cold Games is going to do. But uh, before we get to, before I blather on too much, let's just look at the actual update. So it looks like the the sort of top billing goes to Eagles. Uh, Eagles have now been added to the game. Now, if you remember correctly, when when Cold Games added bats to the caves. He had made note that the bats were a kind of precursor, a test for adding flying animals to the game in general. And uh, so, yeah, this was this is like the natural succession of, of uh, from bats and now eagles. Uh, so a new animal now flies the skies in the world. The eagles will nest in high mountain rocket, rocky areas. They will regularly leave their nest to scout the landscape and catch prey. They will fish in lakes for all fish types and also hunt small games, rabbits and chickens. While they don't generally pose a threat to players, they are opportunistic predators and will snatch a hooked fish or small game kill from players. So it's, it's, uh, so keep an eye on the skies while hunting and fishing. That's actually good to know. If you actually wanted to hunt them yourself... And you saw one flying around. Maybe you could uh, entice one into landing, uh, so that you could get it yourself by uh, by by you know like killing a rabbit or a chicken or something, and then just sort of letting it just sort of percolate there uh, wherever it is. Anyways, shooting an eagle while it is clutching prey will cause it to drop, allowing the player to trace it down and steal the catch for themselves. Uh, let's see. There's eagles' nests. So eagle nests can be found high up on rock formations in mountainous regions. This is this looks really cool. It's like there's a little sort of a thingy with a uh, little thing. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. They're usually too high and out of reach. Players should use climbing axes to scale the rock face to gain access to them. I know this spot. That's where my base is built right there. So, oh, maybe there's like an eagle's nest right across from where my base is built. We're going to have to take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, so looting a nest will lead, it, looting a nest, a nest will, uh, yield pristine eagle feathers. You can loot the nest while still attached to the rock face. Just get close enough and, oh, okay. So you don't have to let go. You just use the, you uh, press the use key. Okay. Um, and then you get different feather types, I guess. Uh, the eagles will become aggressive if they spot you tampering with their nests. So be careful. Note, killing an eagle will damage its feathers. These might be damaged, I guess. So looting from the nest is the only way to acquire pristine feathers. Okay, good to know. Eagles, uh, eagle kills are also now tracked in player stats. Um, let's see. Uh, players can now craft hang gliders from the workbench. So this is kind of cool. Um, and it looks like it uses the, the feathers in order to make the hang glider. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's neat. Uh, players can, okay. So players can now craft hang gliders from the workbench. All right. Uh, it must be placed on the tool belt. And equip like a tool or weapon when the player begins to fall. It will auto-deploy. That's cool. Uh, it will uh, take slow damage over the time, so over time, so keep your eye on its health. It doesn't break during flight. It requires pristine eagle feathers to craft and maintain. So that means you have to actually go to the nest to get the feathers. Uh, players will need to loot nests. So there you go. Because otherwise you'll get the... These are, I guess, the non-pristine feathers. They're the ones with blood all over them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and it takes uh, 18 sticks, uh, 12 cloth, 8 crystal, and 6 eagle fe pristine feathers to make the, uh, the, the hang glider. So, yeah, piloting controls. Um, they need to be careful. Uh, gliding is a dangerous sport, and the glider will auto oh will not autocorrect to protect the pilot from a perilous crash. Ooh, that's good to know. Um, he's tried his best to uh, simulate piloting physics. Uh, pitching down hard will cause rapid acceleration. Pitching up will trade velocity for upward lift. Probably if you trade, if you went up too much, it would stall, I'm guessing. Uh, while gliding, they can move. Oh, you can move your head freely around to look around. Oh, that's cool. And uh, you use, yeah, WASD. So pitch down, pitch up, le yaw left, yaw right. Okay, cool. Good, good. And then for landings, <laughs> be mindful of your speed while coming in for a landing. Use careful pitch control to slow uh, to control a slow enough speed to ensure soft touchdown. Oh my goodness! Um, currently, it is not possible to exploit uh, flying under 
Oh, it is, uh, it is, it is currently not possible to exploit flying onto hundred bases. Uh, that's at, it, the way I've implemented it may seem crude, um, but he hopes to add a more natural means of defense from flying raids. Okay, that's kind of interesting. There's new hunter bases. Oh, this is so exciting. So, uh, and he, yeah, because he's got all these new, really cool, like, uh, tilty angle glass pieces and stuff like that. And so it looks like he's made some new bases that take advantage of those new building pieces. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, he also, he's added a system that tracks which bases get destroyed by players. So replacing hunter squads can alternate through the different designs to keep things changing up. Now, this is interesting because um, I have one base that I do want to destroy down by Ortastic so that it can re be, uh, be rebuilt near where I am, my new location. And so therefore, if I destroy them now, um, it's too bad this didn't come out before because uh, all three bases could have been new. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll just, you know what? Liberal use of the BCU cracker will fix this situation. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to relocate one and hopefully we'll get one of the nice shiny new uh, bases. It looks like these are new fortress bases. Uh, these are new Bravo bases and these are new alpha bases. So these are like the small, medium, and large bases. They're kind of the same concept as before. Interesting. Oh, look at that. They've got uh, radiators in them and carpets and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Now the rest is really, uh, he says this was the largest piece of work in the, on, on this sprint, which I agree. Like I read this, so I've, I've looked at this already and, and what he's been describing is I could see it being a huge task and it's just not something that really, it's, it's a kind of a thankless task because, well, I guess if you're running a server, it isn't, but, um, he's done what lo appears to be a great deal of, uh, uh, uh a performance and lag uh, improvement at scale. And he, what he's done, I've, I won't go into the details, but uh, it, so the games operate on a tick by tick. So every tick of the game engine, uh, it will service a number of different things. If that list of things that it gets too long, then it takes too long for it to iterate the tick. And therefore you start get that. And each tick is a frame. And therefore you're basically, you're slowing down everything so that it gets, everything gets just really awful and very slow. Um, he has, he has basically, uh, what he's done is he's reworked the things that get, that run every tick. So he puts some of them to sleep. As he says, over 95% that rarely need an update will, will be put to sleep so that they don't get, uh, service during the, uh, each frame. So that's kind of cool. Um, he also did some, uh, rock geometric detail work. See, he's, he's, uh, it's pretty subtle. Um, it looks good to me. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I honestly, uh, like I don't go up in the mountains very often. So, you know, it's, uh, I think it, that attention to detail makes sense because uh, this one, you're going to be climbing up to get eagle feathers, right? And where is this one? Interesting. I don't really, I'm not sure where that is. But it, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, oh, we know where this is. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> this is, uh, is this an artist rendering? Might be. I'm not sure. Regardless. Uh, so, okay, let's go back down to where, where we left off. Um, he's also added a, uh, he, he increased the build cap because of the performance issues um, for co-op and dedicated servers. Uh, there's a new dedicated remote server API which is, uh, looks like it's a RESTful API for doing some sort of server management. I think I did look at for it, bef look through it before, but it looks like it had something to do with uh, sending notices, uh, allowing, allowing server managers to send a notice that a shutdown, here it is. Um, yeah, some, it's a message. So the, they could say like, uh, we're going to shut down the server in 15 minutes type thing. Not really something that most people need to know about, but it is, you know, it's, this is the sort of thing that helps make uh, server managers a lot more happy. Um, it looks like, <laughs> looks like there's some new physics on uh, butchering animals. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> they kind of jolt. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, he fixed animal corpses disappearing in multiplayer games. Oh, that's been a long standing problem. So that's really good to hear. Dormant bases while members are offline. This sounds like a dedicated server thing. It is. It's dedicated server. Um, so essentially, yeah, he's reworked the way that dedicated dedicated servers um, 
behave when uh, the players for a base are offline. Apparently, everything shuts down and goes kind of, I guess it freezes. Um, again, pretty cool. I know there's been a lot of complaints about that kind of thing. Uh, he's added a new glass wall, half vertical and slanted. Oh. Okay. All right. We may we may be able to even make use of that. I can think of one uh, place that I might want to use that. So we'll we'll just have to keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> animated models for drop fish. Apparently, the fish flop. They they they're floppy now. They, they you throw them down and they will they'll they'll be flat. They'll flap around. <laughs> oh no. Um, Christmas tree. Oh, you could pot. It's you could craft the Christmas tree in the workbench. Oh, that's cool. A uh, thousand power and one hundred twenty mass. It, uh, it, it looks like the materials are not that bad, but the <laughs> that's a pretty hefty charge for it. That's okay. That's fine. It's a once in a once a year thing. Um, also, he has added new weapon clothing item cosmetics. Now, um, I did look into this, and I think the way he's doing it is really good. You don't need this stuff. This is just cosmetic stuff. It doesn't change any of the performance of the game. And the way he puts it, he says, uh, "What is it?" Purely cosmetic, do not affect any actual content or in-game stats. They are intended for players who wish to further support the game's development. You know, for a guy like me, for example, who's played this game for so long, and I've made tons of videos, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and if we take a look up at the top, we see that it's, uh, well, this is a Canadian fourteen ninety nine, which is cheaper in the U.S., I think. Um, I mean, come on, 15 bucks? <laughs> Seriously. And my understanding is... Uh, like that's a I've gotten a, I've gotten more than my money's worth out of this game. I I will tell you, um, and so he's basically given people like me an opportunity to to buy a few of these cosmetic pieces and you know maybe um, help out cold games again and maybe kick them. So I'll I'll tell you right now I actually bought all of these because uh, I I like the game and I want to support the developer and I want to keep him working on it. So I have actually supported them. Uh, they were a dollar something Canadian each for each piece. So. In all, I think it was like twelve or thirteen dollars for the for the whole set. I can't remember that's with taxes. Again, that's Canadian dollars, so you know uh, your monetary unit will vary. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did it. So, and it looks like you select the uh, you click on the item, uh, the inventory item, and it'll have new skins show as icons, and I guess you can select them. So that's kind of neat. So he's added an in-game tip for chopping ice holes. Oh, that's kind of cool because, you know, it's not obvious for new users. Yeah, that's kind of neat. And it looks like he's added an icon to show people on the map in the overhead view where the caves are. Again, a little one of those little nice things that uh, new users might appreciate. So that's kind of cool. Um, other notable changes. Firearm handling sounds have been increased in volume and expanded. Now as the player breaks into a sprint and draws a weapon in and or out, in or out, uh, sounds will play accordingly. I think it makes weapons feel more weighty and immersive. Very cool. And it's details like this that really do make this game a joy. Um, password save when joining servers and will be auto-populated when joining from a serverless. That's, that's another nice little quality of life. Uh, he fixed incorrect curved window snapping location. I've never noticed it, but cool. Um, he fixed the scroll bars and all the menus not scaling correctly. That's, yeah, okay, that's just a little visual scroll bar glitch. Uh, the full alpha version now shows up in the uh, top left. Top left while in, okay, so not just alpha 58. It's actually showing the, like the major and then the minor release. So that's kind of cool. Um, what else? If you're trying to join a server and you've got different version numbers, it'll tell you. Very nice. That helps people figure out why they can't connect. Um, he fixed a bug where the flashlight would continue to drain the battery if it removed from the weapon. Uh, passwords previously joined servers now save. Um, still not for co-op games. That's fine. Um, fixed a bug where movement controls could still remain active in the map view. Oh, really? Ooh. Uh, replaced <laughs> unfocalized loading screen while simple loading with simple loading icon instead. Oh, okay. Uh, fixed a bug, audio bug, where fire generator cooking, etc., would not play in heavily populated worlds. I've noticed this sometimes that it the the generator will disappear when you know things are a lot of stuffs going on, uh, especially in multiplayer. Um, and then also where elevator switch would not call the elevator if the elevator was over a hundred floors away. Yeah, that's probably like two or three people that have that. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um. Fixed a bug where the hunter wood burner would not decay. I bet you anything. He, it was like, what? 
Why? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll boost that number up. Um, it fixed a bug where the hunter wood burner would not decay with the rest of the base. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. This is the uh, the holy floating the hanging uh, wood stone of des uh, wood stove of destiny has been fixed. Please, I want you all to have a moment in silence for the for the demise of the holy hanging uh, wood stove of destiny. Uh, it is no more, and I'm kind of sad about that because I kind of enjoyed that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, fixed animals uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes playing their idle animation while walking for clients. Okay. Mining drill progress meter not updating in real time. Sandstone not correct correcting to the surface. Random server cat. Oh, random server crash while accessing solar panels and wind terms. He believes it's resolved, but he's not 100% confirmed. That one is something that has made me very reticent to open my uh, solar panels and wind turbines because I have experienced it a few times. And that's why you almost never see me look inside those those devices because of that. That's why. Um, fix the server name not showing in the server stats HUD for clients. Uh, sounds not playing in free cam mode, such as gunshots. Fixed smoke went from breaching charge not rendering uh, for clients. This is for probably the co-op or dedicated server. That's cool. Uh, added many low poly, low, uh, many low poly LOD uh, meshes for player models and clothing for performance. Rugs, flood, floodlight switches have now been added to the existing hunter bases. We saw that in the pictures. That, that's cool. Um, fixed a bug where the rugs would protect the floor below from explosive damage. Well, wouldn't they? <laughs> Maybe not enough, though. And fixed river sounds playing after having frozen for, th for the most southern river. I think we've heard that one as well. I know I have. So there we go. And then he's got his Discord contact, Nitrato for dedicated servers, uh, dedicated server setup guide, and then some. And then look, I'm gonna I'm gonna point these fo fine folks out because these are just regular players like you and I who've taken time out to uh, help help Cold Games with uh, some of the translation and stuff like that. So that is really really cool. Um, all right, um, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, what I'm what we're gonna do is we are going to go to, well, I'm going to fire up the game, and uh, yeah, I'll be right there. All right, so here we go. This is, uh, we're actually in the game. Uh, this is 58.04, so yeah, you see there's the major and minor number in the release. Uh, and it looks like, well, let's try loading our game up. Solo game. There we go. And... Oh, there it is, right in the lower left-hand corner. You could see the he he put in an hourglass instead of the uh, he had something some other screen. I can't remember. I guess it was a right a blurred out version of it. Whoa, okay. Now um, we're gonna forego this whole business for now because that the the uh, that uh, the this release has forced our hand. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go on a little bit of a road trip, and we're gonna do this right now. And I will explain uh, when we on the way why we're doing this uh let's put this away we're gonna put you here we're gonna put you here we're gonna have we're gonna need uh maybe how many do i need for another heat pack we need four we don't have four what we could do is we could grab uh a stack of five yep a five and we could let those rot we could take another look at what the heat thing costs and we're going to need four of these. One, two, three, four. I'm just making sure that I've got enough. I'm going to make a bunch of these. Um, oh, yeah. Um, here, let's put uh, this in the mass thing. We'll, we'll look at that later. Uh, we're going to let this probably burn out because we're not going to be here anyways because we're going on a road trip. That's right. <laughs> eat. Eat. In fact, I'm going to we're going to just break some of our normal tradition here. And we're just going to crank up on whatever we got uh, on hand. Um, you know what? We could even take a, one of these guys here for the for the road. Oh, interesting. He hasn't implemented the in the update the the uh, the perishable food yet. So that's good to know. Um, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, we've got everything we need here. Um, let me see. Let's grab let's grab a few more bullets. What do we have? We have twenty two of you. We're gonna go on a road trip, so we're gonna take. We're gonna make sure we have like thirty of these. Uh, we're going to grab uh, 20 of these guys here. We've got plenty of arrows. 
Um, this probably needs to be repaired. We're going to need three scrap, six zinc. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, how much was that again? Uh, three scrap, one, two, three. And is it a board? No, weapons parts. Uh, one, two, three. Someone keeps pointing out the fact that I have electronic pieces in there. And I keep forgetting to pull them out. There you go. It's all done. Uh, repair that. Okay, most of the rest of this is in reasonable shape. The other thing I forgot to do is reload you. Okay. Now, where are we? Are we ready to go yet? Why are we going to go somewhere? It's a big mystery, but we're, you're going to find out. It, it'll make sense. Before we go there, we're going to make... Uh, go, though. We're going to make sure that we have... Let's grab maybe... Let's grab five of these. We'll grab ten of these. Actually, let's start making the sticks now. There we go. Ten of those. Five of the uh, feathers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to make some arrows uh, as well. And what else? What else? Um, I think that's it. I think we're good. We've got heat packs. Uh, we've got the fixins for making more heat packs in a few in a little bit. Okay. First things first. Um, we're gonna go over here. Oh, are you ready? Oh, you are. Well, you're gonna be ready when I get back. So, uh, <laughs> we'll deal with that at that time. Now. Let us go, because uh, I think that there's eagle's nests up here. Now, this is just a quick detour, but where are we going? We are going to the bridge base. Why are we going to the bridge base? Because that's where my ice picks are. <laughs> that's where my climbing picks are. Uh, I thought it would be fine to leave them here. Oh, oh, there it is. There's one right there. <gasps> there's one right there. Look, there's an eagle's nest. Oh, that's... Oh, there's an eagle. Oh, that's so cool. Well, we're going to have to deal with Mr. Eagle, uh, or Mrs. Eagle, at some point. Is there any more? Is that the only one? I don't see any others, but that's kind of good to know. There is an actual eagle's nest uh, hanging out just above the base. Oh, weather, weather's getting nasty. You know what? Hey, chicken. No, no, you know what? We've, we have... No, we. this is probably going to... We might... This episode might go on a bit long. Because I do want to try at least climbing up to an eagle, uh, an eagle's nest. So, oh, before we go, though. Okay. This I can't ignore. I cannot ignore this. We have to make sure the animals have enough food. And I might distribute them between the two, 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 uh, two housings. So, let's see. Let's make sure you are, um, let's make sure you're in there. And you're in there. Okay. And are you... You are. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to quickly grab uh, some tomatoes and some carrots. Um, and then we're going to grab a bunch of water. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, it's such a... Oh, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Um, one, two, three. One, two, one. Is that enough food? Barely. Oh, 98. It's good enough. Good enough. It'll be fine. We're not going to go for too long. 98, 98. Excellent. How about you? One, one, two, three. Maybe a tomato. Any more? Maybe another carrot. Another tomato. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll give you another tomato. And a couple waters. Good. All right. And you can go free range. And you can go free range. Okay. I think the animals are in good shape. That was something that I was a bit worried about. So... Uh, we'll deal with the uh, this whole business another time. Uh, let's just go this way. <laughs> I was so looking forward to cracking that. Oh, hey, look at you. Um, the cracking the nut of, of that 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 uh, that that whole uh, shelf thing, and I kind of think I remember how how to do it. It's just one of those things. It's like there's a trick to it, and it you, you forget. I forget sometimes, and once you do it again, you're like, oh, right. Um, I'd also like to do it maybe a little different from the way I've done the current one, if, if at all possible. Man, this is not a great day for doing this run, which is why I brought, uh, why I was planning on having so many of those heat packs, because this is, this, this run is dangerous enough, and I'm gonna have to be climbing up in the mountains, probably, in order to get an eagle's nest, and I really, really don't want to die doing that. 
Oh, and at some point we are going to take a look at um, the, the the skins, the new the new skins that we've got because uh, I do have them for some of the weapons that I'm carrying. And oh, maybe not for my shirt. No, not for the plaid shirt. Oh, well, we'll look at that one in the future. Now there's hunters over there. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Look at the. Uh, I'm burning through protein because of this. Oh, I brought some, a tomato with me. That's not a problem, by the way, because this is... Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is going to be uh, an interesting run. Okay. Hey, Wolf, how you doing? I know. I know. It's terrible weather. Yes, you're angry about it. Of course you are. You're a wolf. You're angry about everything. Um, please please uh, submit your complaints to the, uh, the subsistence uh, complaint department. Not sure where that is, but uh, I'll leave that up to you to find. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You know what? I could get you medicinal uh, box, but I don't know. Did we lose our wolf friend? We did. You know, no. We got to get moving. I need to get to the. I need. I want to get to the. Uh, uh, or uh, to the bridge. I want to get to the bridge so that we can get the picks and. Uh, yeah, get that business going. All right. The problem with this weather. Oh, I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't. I know they're medicinal plants. They're useless, but and this, I always regret these guys. Hey, you know what? It's a berry. I'm not going to regret that. We have to make sure. By the way, let's get safe over here, where there's nobody around us. Okay, and let's. Uh, there's the. There's our base there, but I think we want to go that way. So we want to go to northwest. Okay, yeah, this is the right direction. Let's just keep again. Oop, 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 oop. Mm, there we go, northwest. <laughs> the problem with this. Uh, oh, that's happy right there. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're on track. We are on track. I know exactly where we are. Where this is uh, right here, right in front of us. This is. Um, uh, 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 Dry Mountain. And there's a white wolf. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about the white wolf. My health is taking a hit. I'm going to... But my stamina is fine. I am going to... No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, we're going to eat three of them. Let's go. I need to keep my stamina going. And food is... Oh. Wolf. I heard you, wolf! <laughs> I'm important hunter business. I am a hunter, by the way. I mean, I know that there are hunters in the game, but I am also a hunter. Uh, we're not, so I, I, when I say hunters, important hunter business, I mean me, because I am a hunter. Hey, look, uh, those hips. Sweet. Literally. Uh, I think. <laughs> they might not actually be sweet. I think they're kind of uh, more tart, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had them. My health is now down to uh, under half, but uh, that's fine. We've got to cruise on, keep moving. Let's get to the other base. My stamina is starting to drop. Are we good? Uh, let's have, uh, let's eat you. Let's, oh no, 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 no. We don't want to eat you. We're going to eat, um, we're going to eat a couple of these, which is going to bring that up. It looks like our food, our stamina is coming back up. My health is not recovering. Uh, I am going to uh, do a health kit to bring my health up because I don't want to waste a uh, heat pack yet. Uh, I suspect I'm going to be needing them. And uh, I don't want to use them all right now because it, it takes, it, you can't just whip them up in like no time flat. Um, you know, they, they require rotten meat, which, hey, chicken, how's it going? Yeah? Okay. Um, oh, hey, pig. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them. They, they won't bug you, but they do have a tendency to run at you. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. I'll go this way. You go over there. You go over there. I'm, o I'm fine over here. Okay. Where was I? Can't remember. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're almost there, which is a good thing. <gasps> Scrap and a medicinal crate. Well, you usually suck medicinal crate. 
like that one. I mean, a, a f ah, okay, wolf. It, a feather is is good. Yeah, well, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not complaining. But uh, it's a known thing in winter. Medicinal crates, uh, like they're kind of they're weak. They're weaker than usual. Oh, hello, bridge base. Nice to see you again. As always, I appreciate you. Punka. Okay. Of course, there's no power here right now, so we can't uh, we can't use the fridge. We can't use the stove. We can't use pretty well anything here um, except for these guys. Now, we could make a fuel brick and uh, just to get some heat going, but I think we're fine in here. Minus two. I think we're... we're, we're are we getting our health back? 87, 88... Yeah, we're getting health back, so I'm not going to worry about this too much. Um, in fact, I think we'll just leave that alone. But why are we here? We are here because I have two sets of climbing axes. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, what do I want to do with this? I should just take both of them. So why do I have two sets? Uh, if you die in the lava cave, you need to be, and you, you, you're, you'll you die with your climbing axes on you. And if you need to recover your body, if you can, because taking getting down there takes forever. Um, you If you have a, to get a snowball's chance and whatever of being able to do it, you're going to need climbing axes to get back down there. So that's why, you know, that's why I have a spare set. And that's so that if I die with these on me, I can still go back and get them. In this particular case, though, I'm not really sure. I'm running a bit of a risk because I'm going to have both of them on me, and if I die while trying to climb up on uh, to get that the, the eagle feathers, this could be turn into a really nasty situation. Are you not going to rot? Because I would really like it if you would rot, please. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? I've got plenty of these guys. We also have a bunch of... Um, Tomatoes in here and even more here. We grab those ones because we're going through them like crazy. But we got a ton of stuff here. In fact, what we could do is we could just sort of dump some of this here because we don't really need it. Uh, I am going to keep the fuel brick on me for a reason. And I am actually going to make another fire starter kit. Uh, what do I need? Do I need two, two, and one? Yeah, so let's do this. Let's make you... Why am I doing this? Because we're going to go up to the cougar cabin. And, uh, yeah, that's the plan. 12? Oh, I was going to make arrows! Yes, yes, yes. But we're going to make a fire starting kit. Plus, we have a fuel brick. And uh, we could even make another one. Could we make another one if we grab 10 of you? Let's make another fuel brick. And then we're going to make the rest of our arrows. Oh, nails! Oh, yes, of course. I wanted to get 10 nails. There we go. Uh, oh, and we had looted feathers. Okay, well, the feathers can go in here. Um, the This goes in here. This goes in here. That can go in there. Uh, these guys. I think I, I pulled all of the vegetables or the uh, fruits out of here. Um, you know what? I'll store these here. They're not going to go bad anytime soon. I'll even put you here. Okay. Medicinal plants go down in this one here. And I'm going to keep you with me. Keep you with me. All of you are fine. Uh, we could put the cloth here. That's that's okay. That's okay. And uh, I think we're in good shape. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. So where are we going? We are going. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I got rid of all the uh, extra bits and pieces on this, on this base. We're going to the cougar cabin. So let's head on up there. Uh, why the cougar cabin? Because we need to go to the mountains, and from this point, from where I am right now, that is kind of the closest access. Oh, hey, rose hips. Um, that is kind of the closest access point to the cougar cabin. So that is the logic, uh, because look at look at that. Look at that mountain. You see all those cliff faces? Got to be eagles up there somewhere. And my my cabin is, like, right there. So right below them. And it gives us a nice little uh, base of operations. Um, because we do need... I think we're going to need to overnight up there. Yeah, we're running out of daylight. This uh, 
Didn't I see a crate? I did. I did. Um, this is going to take a bit of time. I still have to get... Uh, we, have to, we have to go up. We have to see if we can find an eagle's nest. We have to see if we can climb up to the eagle's nest and loot the eagle's nest to get some feathers. Uh, and then presumably at a certain point we have to get back home. All of that is going to take a bunch of time. And uh, I think using my little cougar cabin as an outpost for this operation is probably a prudent idea. What we're going to do is look, lo look locally through here. Oh, right. <laughs> we got a cougar to worry about. We're going to look locally on uh, uh, up on this sort of mountain here to see about uh, eagles and see if there's anything there. And then, oh, there's the cougar. Uh, loot feathers from there. And then we're going to go back home. Uh, up, we're going to go take the high road. And we're going to go up along and we're going to come back down near where we live. And uh, see if we can get another eagle's nest over there. That's that's the plan. What are, what are we dealing with here? 2.30? Ah! Dinner! I'm gonna be hungry tonight there, Cougar. You are providing my food. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong tool. Oh, jiggle! Jiggle physics! <laughs> oh, it's made it even more disturbing. Old game, seriously. Bro. <laughs> it's not a problem, of course. But uh, I just find it amusing. <laughs> uh, it's very cool. It is a really cool feature. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. Uh, honestly. Uh, what do we have in here? We've got a, we got a few bits and pieces. Um, yeah. this is That's why the biofuel here is, by the way. That's so I can make more uh, of these guys. So we've got three in here now. That's cool. We're gonna, and, and you're all full up of... Oh, this is ready to go. Nice. And we've even got a uh, murky water in here. Wow. Man, I was thinking ahead. Um, now, what I do need to do... Actually, you know what we can do is we can wash our hands. Wash hands. There we go. And... We're going to overnight here, regardless, because it is too, it is late. And uh, so I'm going to fire this bad boy up, start cooking up some of the stuff. I'm going to get some more protein in me because, I mean, protein bars, you can live on them, but they taste terrible. And I'd prefer to have something real. And we just happen to have a bunch of, oh, no, 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 not those. Those are, are here for a reason. In fact, we're going to save those in here. You know what would be funny? Is if cold games, if he uh, if he made it so that this didn't go bad in winter because it's so cold out, it's like it's refrigerated, and I would never get my raw meat. <laughs> that would suit me just uh, that would well it wouldn't suit me but you know what I mean. Okay, we've got you. Uh, let's see, we can put that back in here, and uh, you know what I'm gonna put you in here, and I'm gonna put you there. No, we're gonna take you with us just in case. You can stay here. You can stay here. Portage. Sinew is coming back with me. This is the bat taking. This is the important stuff. Uh, we can actually uh, start cooking some biofuel in here. And we can put some cloth in there. Plus that goes in there. And I'm going to keep the scrap on me. But, well, not on me. We're going to put that in the high priority to get home uh, section. Come on. Cook, cook, cook. We have important... Uh, we have to go and see if we can find ourselves a... Um, before it gets too cold. Before it gets too dark. Come on. Seriously. F food me up. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Um, I'm going to need you there. And let's go. Chicken. Oh, is there an eagle? Don't see an eagle. Okay, we've killed the cougar, so we're good on that front. Okay, is there a an eagle an eagle's nest? Is there a an eagle's nest <laughs> on this section of the map? That is the question. Oh man, this is going to be so risky if we actually do if I try to do. Oh man, I am worried about this. How risky this could be? Not here. How about? 
butt off this edge here. Is there anything down here for look down? Nothing. Is that an eagle? That's an eagle. That's an eagle. And I keep thinking I'm hearing a... Uh, I keep thinking I'm hearing a cougar, but they're, they're way down there. So, you know what? That's kind of interesting. So we can look for the eagles to see. There it is. There's And there's his nest. You can see the little thing sticking out. Oh, perfect. Well, her nest. Because, uh, you know, eggs. So she. Um... Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay. Oh, we're going to get hurt, aren't we? Oh, I hear I can hear the bird. I can hear the eagle. Can you hear it? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Angry, angry eagle! Oh, come on, come on, sneak, sneak! Maybe, maybe if it's if the eagle's far enough away, we won't uh, actually get uh, detected. And maybe it, maybe I was just far enough away from the eagle that I didn't get in any trouble. Oh, oh, this is oh, this. Is... <laughs> Keep going! Don't take any chances. I am so glad that he didn't make this like a stamina dependent thing. Oh, we're close, we're close, we're close. Oh, we're done! <gasps> okay, let's get back to the base. Uh, or the, the little, uh, re little hideout. Oh. No! Oh, you, oh, you're mad! Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, you do a lot of damage. <gasps> Oh, they, uh, wait till you get back on the ground. Oh, they're, oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I don't feel so bad about shooting the, the eagle. Oh, I gotta listen. Oh, no. Cougars. Cougars. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get out of here before, and we'll take a look at our, bo our bounty uh, when we get back. Oh, wow. Okay. There's... Look, there's my, uh... Rabbit! Run! Run, rabbit! <laughs> I feel guilty. I don't... I don't want... I don't want to become known as Eagle Killer, but I think that that is a mechanic. I mean, the, the eagle attacks you just like the bats do, and I don't think that there's, uh... I mean, you can't get away from it. Run! Run, rabbit! <laughs> Hey, did I get eagle meat? I think I got eagle meat. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, and we've got snow. Excellent. That's great. Here, let's get that fiber. Um, and we can get that fiber too. I am I am uh my health and everything is taking a hit. Let's get back down to the base, though. And let's warm up. Let's get some health back. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. We got... Okay, so you get three pristine eagle feathers, potentially, from a nest. There's six feathers required to make the hang glider. So, therefore, you probably need to... Uh, probably, maybe, possibly... You need to loot two nests in order for that to, uh, for that to be, uh, for you to get what you need. So I'm gonna drink you, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cook some snow, and then I'm gonna use that to wash my hands. There we go, and we've got ourselves a nice little uh, raw steak. This is kind of cool that this uh, mixed berry. 
I'm going to be able to eat this tomorrow morning. We still have a whole bunch of, uh, we have a bunch of berry water and regular water. And we do have um, other th resources like the, the protein bars and all of that other business. So we can, we will be able to um, take care of all of our needs uh, before we can get back to the base. And ho we're going to, of course, on the way back to the base, um, we're going to see if we can find any more eagle feathers and go from there. So I think, you know what? I think that um, that was very eventful. I actually, uh, I think we managed to get a whole bunch of stuff at least looked at but before we go oh yeah 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 um can we here let's i don't want to burn this let's do this let's grab you let's wash our hands okay before i forget because i will forget and we'll put this in here we're gonna grab seriously oh we can make um we can make one back there we go there we go there we go do they no, they don't do the stack thing, do they? Where they basically only the top one rots until the one below it, then the one below it. We'll find out, I suppose. If all three of them rot at the same time, then that's not that's how that works. If only one more rots in the next one, oh, then that's how that's how that works. So there we go. Um, what was I gonna do? We grabbed everything that we wanted. We will take you as well. And let's see, I think in the morning, uh, let's do it. Oh, you know what? We could do a double check on if we're going to run into down here. There's uh rogues, so we can just avoid them and no other. Ro oh, there's the, uh, there's the cave, uh, marked on the maps. So that's cool. We know where that is. And the Eagles are over here somewhere. I think, uh, we spotted them. Did we, sp I think we did. And then, um, at least that's where it was in the release notes. And then up here. We also, there were some eagles. And on top of that, if we go and take a look, and we can actually recurve bow. No, the double barrel. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, the le uh, lever action. I have a uh, new, new skin for my lever action. It's got this kind of uh, camo type appearance to it. That's kind of cool. And then also, I think, uh, what was it? The double barrel? Yep, the double barrel. It's got a, uh, oh, here, we've got to reload it. But it's got a, a little, sort of a camo skin to it. That's kind of neat, too. Let's grab you. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to drink you because I still need a bit of water. You can always cook up more water. Um, my helmet! <gasps> <laughs> this is really terrible. Uh, it's a terrible view of this because it's dark and it's by candlelight. But uh, my my helmet has a Santa hat. <laughs> There's a few others. We'll go over them when we can. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we cruise on back to the base and see if we can find some more eagle feathers in our effort to make a new glider. All right. Until then, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.